Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler, and this is the Chicks Chat, which is foreshadowing to yet another storm system. We had all that rain last weekend. Now as we look ahead, I have a very strong inkling that Friday and Saturday, yep, Halloween Saturday, we're going to be dealing with another rainmaker. Now the big question is, will it be out of here in time for trick-or-treaters Saturday night? Here's more in tonight's Chicks Chat. All right, so it's hard to be specific this far in advance, but I'll tell you the timing looks like Friday into Saturday. More than likely, we're going to see increasing clouds Friday first half of the day, then Friday afternoon, evening, and night. Showers and thunderstorms develop. They could sit around the area through the overnight into Saturday morning. Now that's where things get a little trickier. Some computer models move this system right through, drying us out by Saturday evening, which would be great news for trick-or-treaters. Others, though, bringing the heaviest rain only in the morning, drop us down to more like drizzle and periodic showers for the evening, which would not necessarily mean a dry forecast. So too hard yet to say which way it will go. As for how much rain we have, potential for perhaps between one and as much as four inches of rain, depending on which computer model you look at. So just keep in mind, things are not set in stone, but they certainly are pivotal, continuing to watch that very closely. Let's look at the week ahead. We've got lots of sunshine and 80s on the way Tuesday and Wednesday. By the way, Wednesday, the record is 89. We could be within a few degrees of that. Hey, speaking of records, Monday, we had a low of 58 degrees. However, on October 26th, back, oh, I can't remember what year it was, quite a while ago, we had our first freeze, the earliest freeze ever to happen in the Austin Camp Mabry area back on October 26th. Our normal or average first freeze is until November 29th. That's one little factoid for you. The other one is, don't forget, this upcoming weekend, the clocks change. We fall back an hour, so at 2 a.m. Sunday morning, daylight saving time comes to an end. That's it for now. Have a good one.